Some people have played the game for a long time and haven't got to uh, the level that they desire to play, and then other players who haven't played as much uh, seem to progress at a much faster rate, and that's natural. There's, there's a lot of reasons, but uh, a couple of things that, that I think are very important um, and that I think every golfer can get would be this golf club and all the ones that you carry in your bag is like tools to a carpenter. Okay? The ability to use this club and have total feel of this golf club and total control um, is imperative to your improvement. And we got a lot of things going on. We need to be able to control the club face. We need to be able to control the club path. And we need to be able to control the club head. But what I want to talk to you about would be uh, just like a young kid that you take to a restaurant and give them a crayon and they can't keep the club, uh, excuse me, they can't keep the uh, crayon on the paper and they have no control. You send them off to school, they learn to print and then eventually write and then uh, the extreme would be if they become an artist they got total control, total feel of the instrument they're using and, and can make beautiful artwork. It's the same thing with golf. You, you see it with players. Some players just the way they hold the club it looks awkward and it looks weird and um, just like if you played any other sports if you played basketball you're always you know feeling the ball or play, you know playing any of those sports you're getting a feel for the instrument you're using and for those of you who are beginners or not used to or don't have that feel yet you need to learn to get that club in your hand gripping it nice and relaxed trying not to suck the life out of it learning to, if you close your eyes, learning to get a feel for the weight of the club and uh, you know it's just like, a, just like tools to a carpenter. I personally am not very good at using tools uh, as, you know, as a carpenter is, but that's because I'm out of my comfort zone. As a result, when I have those in my hand, I don't feel as comfortable. I grip it really tight and my body's making these changes. It's the same thing with golf. So if you're not playing as well as you'd like to or you're not advancing as fast as you have, uh, or as, as fast as maybe others have, put that club in your hand and learn to become an artist with that golf club. You'll be amazed at uh, how much feel and how much more control you'll have of the club. And with that feel comes better golf. Um, so work on that. Learn to become an artist with your golf club. Learn to have all the feel and I think it'll help you. And you know, a perfect example as to why that is true would be at the end of the or the beginning of the golf season after you haven't held a club and it feels like a foreign object and you're gripping the club as tight as you can and you have no control or no feel for the golf club in your hand. Work on it at home, in the office, outside, anywhere you can get a golf club in your hand. Learn to let this thing melt in your hands and become an artist with it and it will help you play much better.